No question about it. She's very conspic she very conspicuously put some white powder in there. Hold it! Hold it! Did she really put that into the coffee? Couldn't she have been adding sugar? Why not? I've seen sugar in small bo brown bottles. And no, I'm not joking either. I actually have seen it. Witness, could you please describe the bottle in more concrete terms? Yes, I know that. Hold it! Hold it! You took just one sip? Death? Well, with potassium cyanide, I suppose that is possible. And the waitress, I presume she is. Hold it! Hold it! You said. I remember her well, in reference to the waitress. Did she really have any particular features that you can identify her by? That's not what I was referring to. Objection! Objection, your honor! So a particular feature you recognize about the waitress is her outfit? But anyone could wear just such a uniform. I'm already aware of that, Maya. Seems pretty sure of himself. Sure, you saw a waitress take the coffee over to the victim. But what matters is whether that waitress was Maggie Bird or not. Mr. Kudo. These other features that you recognize about the defendant, I would ask that you add them to your testimony. There's a ribbon in her hair and her apron straps were loose. Hold it! Hold it. You do seem to remember several details about her appearance. What about the most crucial detail of all? Her face. Objection! have a point. So no doubt he remembers the waitress pretty well. Hmm. C. 
something is not right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not buying this. The identifying features you described are all things you would see from the back. Is it possible that you never saw the waitress from the front at all? Objection! People normally talk about facial features when they've asked to describe someone. This witness testimony is nothing but straps and ribbons. I never said you were. Mr. Kudo. The court requests that you add details about any identifying features. Features you observed from the front, that is, to your testimony. If I can't find a hole in this testimony soon, it'll be all, it'll get even longer. Hmm. Something does not fit. Hold it. <clears throat> you didn't find anything to be dis distinct? But you did see... You did clearly see the witness's face, yes? It's not the answer I was looking for, but okay. That's a good question there, Maya. Like I thought, we need some concrete proof of this. Proof that this old guy did not see the waitress clearly from the front. Do I actually think he did? No. He probably had his eye on the waitress the whole time. That's why he was there. Exactly, Maya. She does make a good point. Actually, yes, Maya, you did. I wonder if the waitress Mr. Kudo saw really was Maggie. actually wears glasses. If he, if he had actually seen her from the front, then he wouldn't have mentioned that. He actually would have mentioned that Maggie wearing glasses. Something else I remember. The other thing, he actually would have noticed the blood stains and the coffee stains on the front of her apron. If something's not right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Objection! Objection, Your Honor! Mr. Kudo! I'd like you to please take a look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen this before? Gotcha! I knew it! He admitted it. He didn't see it. He wouldn't have noticed the blood stains and the coffee stains in the front on the front of the apron. Plus, he also would have mentioned that if he had actually seen Maggie from the front, he would have also mentioned Maggie's glasses. There you go. That's not what I was referring to. Mr. Kudo, this apron. Is the apron worn by the defendant on the day of the poisoning? And as you just said yourself, you wouldn't forget something like this. Which means, if you had really seen this apron before, Yes, you know exactly what I'm getting at. You couldn't have possibly seen this waitress from the front. I knew it. Gotcha. Sorry, can't oops your way out of this one. <laughs> Already aware of that, Godo. Very well. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's assess how good your memory and attention to detail is, Mr. Kudo. Tell us what you remember about the victim. Actually, actually they were not. They were not glasses he was wearing. It was actually a portable radio. The testimony we have just heard was to test how credible the witness's memory is. It seems to me that we have... I remember the victim in a great deal of detail. We only need to do one thing, Maya. We just need to prove that this old man's memory is completely shot. I suppose, but it's what we do best. Hold it! Hold it! Mm -mm. 
did have some kind of lens over his left eye. But I wouldn't have called that a pair of glasses. Actually, they were not glasses at all. Newspaper is a sports paper, correct? <laughs> it was his paper, not yours. If you want to know so bad, why don't you buy your own? Why not do both? I've done it before. Listen to the radio and read the newspaper myself. <laughs> I've done it many times before. And don't listen to it. Was he that desperate to listen to that listen to the radio? Okay. Hold it. You mean the waitress who you saw from behind? Correct. Maybe. Okay. I better not push it until I've got some hard evidence. Something is not right. Hold it! It's free hand. Which hand was that? His right hand. That's actually what I'm holding my chore in. My right hand. His right hand wasn't his... Okay. The whole point of this cross examination is to establish just one thing. That this old guy's memory has been as more holes than a slice a slice of Swiss cheese.
Wait a second. your honor mr. kudo do you remember what you what you were told at the start of this testimony that this was a way of testing the credibility of your memory <laughs> uh -uh. go out of here kudo According to Mr. Kudo, the victim was holding the paper in his right hand. While drinking coffee with his free hand, which would have been his left. <laughs> I, by the way, happen to be left-handed myself. I actually write with my left hand. But I would like the court to take another look. Please take a look at this. Take a look at the handle. Indeed, Your Honor. Take a look at the uh, handle on the coffee cup. That is... That is actually made to be held with your right hand, not your left. It can be held in, in, the, in the left hand, but... Wouldn't it be a little bit harder to do? Yes, yeah, so another man, you'll notice that the mark left by the victim's lips. And yes, I did say that intentionally. If you consider where the scene is, you'll clearly see the victim was holding the cup in his right hand. Well, Mr. Kudo, the victim made the Court is waiting for your epic performance! You said you would eat those seeds and sing the pigeon song! The victim was holding it in his right hand, not his left. Sorry. Mr. Kudo, I'm afraid this is simply not acceptable. What the? Still insist on your testimony? Okay. How is he doing so? Left hand or right hand? The boy was holding the earpiece on the same side as the green lens on his specs. Let's take a look, shall we? Wait a second! Bingo! There you go! Always double check and triple check if you need to. Take a look at this. The victim was a programmer. His left eardrum ruptured the day before the incident. He couldn't hear a damn thing out of his left ear. There you go. 